All right, guys. So first bite. Here we go. And check this out. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode. It is Saturday, and I am actually on my way to work. I actually got super lucky the last month. I actually didn't have to work at Saturday, uh, but that has ended. So now I have to go back to work on Saturdays. But it's not every Saturday, actually. It's every other Saturday, and it's just three hours. It's from nine to twelve, but it's just enough to piss you off. You know, it's like, you know, why am I here? You know. Uh, but typically, you know, you guys see me. I always get my Dunkin' Donuts on the weekends. But that is what that is that reason. It is my my weekend coffee letting me know that hey. I'm gonna do whatever it is I'm gonna be doing that day. Uh, but today I'm feeling a little frisky. I'm gonna go for some McDonald's coffee. I'm not gonna go for Dunkin' because that's my, like I said, that's when I know for a fact I'm off the weekend and I don't have anything else to do. Uh, so I'm gonna grab some McDonald's coffee now and yeah, see you guys shortly. You guys had like vanilla flavoring? So just got my coffee and apparently to McDonald's this is a small coffee. So wow. Um, I didn't realize it was gonna be that big actually uh, that tells you how often I actually go to McDonald's so uh, yeah so I was not expecting that so anyhow uh, I'm gonna take a sip and see if it's any good because like I said I haven't had McDonald's coffee in a while I don't you know typically stay away from McDonald's there's nothing against them but I just you know it's not my cup of tea so here we go yeah I don't know why I get Dunkin now I'm probably about five minutes away from there and then what will be three hours for me will be a few seconds for you guys and then when I come back I'll tell you what today's game plan is so make sure you guys stick around for that so see you guys shortly so just got off work so on the way home now gonna shower gonna get ready uh, I actually found a cool spot that I want to take you guys with us today and that is gonna be a taco spot. Uh, I looked online, looked really, really cool, and I'm really excited to try it out. So, uh, I'm gonna go home, get ready, and then go get some tacos. And then I actually do got some beard mail that I want to do an unboxing with you guys. So you guys make sure you guys stick around for that. So I'll see you guys shortly. So just finished getting ready. We're on the way now to go get some tacos. Super excited for that. And I brought my better half here with me. What's up? So. We just found a spot. Hopefully it's not too loud as far as the wind noise because uh, it's pretty windy out here right now. Uh, but anyhow, check this place out. So, that's kind of what it looks like. So we're not really quite sure where the entrance is at. Um, yeah, I'm kind of looking for it right now. There's no behind me. There's kind of that there. Looks like some kind of art spot. And then this just says delivery entrance. So I don't know. We're going we're gonna to see what's up right now. So. All right, so we figured out why we can't get into the entrance or why there's actually nobody here. Uh, Check this out. Kind of wish Google Maps would have told me that or the internet would have told me that before we got here. So uh, fortunately, tacos is not going to work out. So now we're going to have to uh, figure out plan B, which I don't know what it is yet. So you guys will find out shortly. So stick around. So we were looking around to see if there's any alternative to grab something to eat, but you know, it's one of those things like once you put something in your brain, like, all right, I'm gonna get some tacos, and then you kind of like can't have tacos, so you start thinking of something else, but you're like, it's not as satisfying anymore. Well, guess what? We're still gonna get some tacos. We actually just found another spot. It's called Tacos and Beers. Uh, so it's a bit of a drive, it's probably about 15 minute drive, so we're gonna drive there now, and I'll see you guys there. stuff right here if you guys can taste this mm. you guys didn't know this is called a michelada it's basically a modelo or a butt light or anything of that sort it's with like uh with like a tomato juice lime it's good if you guys haven't tried it try it out
All right, guys. So first bite. Here we go. And check this out. Mmm. 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 So good. So moisty. So much flavor in this. Mmm. 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 Check that out. Ooh. It's got a little bit of a spice to it. So, just finished eating, and one can say we are satisfied. How are you feeling? I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> so that was really, really good. Actually, it was actually better than I initially thought. I'm actually glad we went there. Uh, so now I'm gonna go home, let the food kind of settle down a little bit, and then do an unboxing with you guys. So make sure you guys stick around for that. So I'll see you there. So as you guys can see here, we got some beard mail. This is from Honey Ocker Beer Co. I just want to say thank you so much, Adam, for sending this out. And let's see what we got in here. So, get the knife. Ooh. Ooh, check this out, guys. Ooh, nice. I like the color in this. We got a nice car there. Thank you, thank you. Right, check this out. That is so cool. Nice, nice. This is so cool. It's a really, really nice, good looking bottle. Man. Boom. So it looks like we got the Elder with the 57 with the matching bomb. This is so badass. This is so cool. I just want to say, Adam, thank you so much again for sending this out. I'm really looking forward to trying these products out. All right, guys, but that is going to bring us to the end of this video. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of you who have been watching. And if you have subscribed, subscribe down below. But until next video, beard dude out.